Are you ready to have some puppies? I love puppies, Mom. I know. We've got a fresh bucket of water. This is some frozen homemade chicken and bone broth. It's just frozen. She's been licking on it, but she seems to be getting closer. So she was trying to bury it. So we kind of hid it for her. But so far labor's progressing as it ought to. I'm gonna take her temperature here in a minute and see where she's at. And I got my number one whelper helper today. Hi. How many puppies have you delivered, Charlotte? How many litters have you helped deliver? Seven litters. Seven litters of puppies. So we just came on a walk outside. She's starting to get more restless and she's thinking she wants to dig. So we're getting getting closer to having some babies born. She's also been uh, cleaning out so the last two bowel movements were a little bit more loose not diarrhea but definitely loose like she's cleaning out she's getting closer to to delivering the first pup so digging is a sign of nesting she's been digging around her all her bedding um, I've got a bunch of towels and blankets we're gonna move her whelping box in here shortly and then Give her some more bedding and then she will fluff it up and make a nice cozy nest for her babies. She, uh, she took the chicken broth and she moved it into that crate. And then she decided she wanted it in here and she's hiding it now. She's like, I'm not hungry, but I want to save this for later. Bert. What are you doing? Do you need some help? Do you need some help? You're so silly. <laughs> she is so cute. Oh, Liberty. Mommy loves you so much. You're so silly. <laughs> Gives her something to do while we're waiting, I guess. You're doing a good job, Mama. That's a good girl. So she has been panting and her stomach is just a blimp, as you can see. She's been in labor for about 10 hours now. I'm getting so ready to have the first puppy. Boop, boop. And she's progressing beautifully. I'm going to guess the first one's born at like. 515. Probably. So we are in our puppy nursery. It's right off my bedroom. Um, you don't have to have a room like this to whelp puppies, but it's been nice. It's actually a sunroom, so I covered the, the windows with paper to give her privacy. Yeah, let's see. I've got a stack of clean towels to handle the puppies with, stethoscope, puppy pee pads, mop bucket ready. We've got the puppy's laundry basket ready and it's hooked up to a heating pad so it's nice and warm so this is where we put the babies in between the other ones being born this is an old pool basically and uh, we're gonna upgrade whelping boxes here in the next year or so when we get moved to our new property but for now this works 
We also have a little den for Mama. She liked that, but as soon as we brought the pool in, she knew exactly what it was for. Climbed in and made a little nest out of towels. Uh, let's see, I've also got this postal scale with a little basket. I'll weigh each puppy as soon as they're born, or as soon as they're dried off, I'll weigh them. And then I'll record their, their stats. I'll record their sex, their color, their weight, and I'll mark them with a certain color of collar. And then that's who we will, that's how we will identify them as they grow. And then I also have a bowl of chlorhexidine right here with a few different hemostats for clamping the cord. It's here. Mama, Wait, it's no, it's here. It's here. Oh, it's a big one. Good job, bird. Get a picture. Oh, here it is. The first puppy. It's a, it's an, it's a brindle. Okay, let her do that. Okay, come. The, the pair of hemostats, please. What's the hemostat? Those pinchy things. Pinchy. Okay, you just make sure you can see the puppy. Uh, any size you pick. This is our first puppy of the day. Born at 5.28 p.m. It is a brindle. I didn't get a brindle. We'll actually put these ones back and bring me the small ones, please. She doesn't want to eat that. little puppy. It is a black and orange. Is it a boy or a girl? Well, we're going to find out. Mom chose a boy. It's a girl. Oh, look at those orange stripes. She's so pretty, Bert. It's a girl. Can I see her? No, hold on. We're going to let Mama bond with her, okay? Oh. So we're going to come over to our book. And we're going to write. What should I write? Oh, I need a pen. We'll get a black. A so cute and fragile, just like a little puppy face. We should get this puppy nurse in so it speeds things up for the next puppy. So then we don't have to wait like 10 hours. Um, she's got white toes on her, her front right paw, white chest, a diamond and a snip on her chest. She's a big puppy, big healthy puppy. Mama's in love. Um, this green discharge that you're seeing, every litter I've whelped, can you see that? It's normal. Oh. We're gonna let Mama clean her, and then when Mama's pushing the next puppy out, it should be about 30 minutes from now. Maggie, you can hold the puppy over, we'll have her in on our basket. My daughter, Charlotte, pointed out that if we get this puppy nurse in, it'll, it'll move things along for the next puppies. And that's true because when this little puppy nurses, it lets down oxytocin, which um, increases uterine contractions and just helps everything to go efficiently. So the next puppy should be born in about 30 minutes. As you can see, I've got a notepad here. I get um, a journal for every every dog, and my breeding program has their own notepad. So the cheetah is Miss Liberty's. And I just keep track of their labor from start to finish, so I can always reference back if we're having like a difficult labor. I know what's normal for my dog. And then I record the time the first puppy comes out, and I take notes on it. And then eventually we'll weigh her and then we'll mark her with a collar and she'll be that color until she goes home. It's 5.55. The last little puppy was born at 5.28. So this is what the calm before, before uh, pushing looks like. So we guessed the next puppy should 
come right around 6 p.m. In between 6 and 6.10. So this is what it looks like. She starts to get quiet and serious. And um, another puppy is moving down into the birth canal. So that's what this looks like. Oops. Baby number two. <laughs> so this one turned out to be a, a breech baby. But he, or she, is perfectly fine. Uh, his, his or her sister just is in the pen. The puppy pen. Yeah, we're trying to let them get some mama milk. Yeah, and then we can't hold them. We have to pet them, but he's just going to let them by ourselves. Number four, Shar, go check the clock. Go check the time fast. 9.06 p.m., little number four is born. Looks like another apricot. This what? It's too dark. What are you doing? Is it the puppies? <laughs> what are those? What Pick are those? Pick that in that box. What are those? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a puppy on my and bed. And this. Mama, I'm gonna pick a puppy. Yeah. I'm gonna pick a puppy High on five. my bed. High five. Super exciting, huh? High five. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick <laughs> a puppy. Good job. Mm. This. Yeah, this. this. <laughs> That's right. Well, update. So it's a little past midnight and we're up to five puppies. This labor is going slower. Um, whew, excuse me. Earlier I mentioned that the puppy should come every 30 to 40 minutes. And historically, while that's been true for us, um, I guess it's not the case always, and it certainly hasn't been the case with Liberty. So she's been more like an hour apart with each puppy, a couple of them two hours apart. I can remember back to whelping our first litter, and it took Gracie a long time to whelp the puppies. She had, she had 14 inside of her. And I remember worrying because I wasn't super educated on it. However, there's nothing to worry about with a slow labor as long as the mom is not pushing. So as long as labor has been progressing fine and puppies are being born, as long as she's not straining or pushing for longer than 30 minutes, then you are safe to wait it out. Oh, little guy. So, Liberty's just been hanging out about an hour, and then pretty much on the hour, she'll get out of the tub, and she starts to push, and she'll push for about five minutes, and then a puppy's born. About 20 after 7 in the morning. It's been four hours since the last one was born. I started getting a little worried about three and a half hours post, so I gave Liberty almost a full tube of calcium paste. Calcium is important for helping uterine contractions stay strong, so within about 10 minutes of giving her the calcium paste, actually no, I think it was about closer to 15, she started to pant again. Prior to that she was resting and not really contracting but she's been having some big contractions since I gave her the paste and she's starting to push again so she's had seven so far we have six healthy ones the last one born was um, a breach it was premature and it was stillborn these guys are all doing good though She 
just been pushing for about 10 minutes. I'm guessing this one's either a breach or a big puppy. Hey y'all, it's the next day. It's about 5.30 p.m. It's January 29th. <laughs> yes. Five... It's Sunday. Yes, it's the next day from when we started filming. The bed is still pretty nasty, but I got the laundry done. The floor has stayed bleached and mopped, and then I put some pee pads, um, just a trail to the back door, just in case she drips. But, so here's what we have. We have We eight. have one, two, three, four, five, six. And seven, eight puppies over here. So we have eight beautiful puppies. Hi, Bert. And little number seven and number eight over here. Liberty had 10 puppies, two were stillborn. One was a preemie and I don't think would have made it. The second one was very big and came after a four hour stall and then three more healthy ones were born after him. So, so uh, all in all we have eight puppies. So from here we'll just monitor her. We'll monitor her breathing, her disposition. Um, we'll watch her for any signs of eclampsia other known as hypocalcemia, and we'll make sure the puppies are rotating both sides, and we'll go from there. Pretty mama. Pretty mama. You want some chicken? Is that what you want? I took some chicken for Birdie, and she's had about a pound already of just plain cooked chicken, and uh, she loves it. Oh, you want more babies? You want me to bring you more babies? Okay. <laughs>